What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large. Today I am in Portsmouth, Virginia. Here to talk about a very unusual murder that occurred here on October 8th of 2021. A man killed his realtor because he didn't like the house that he purchased from him. So let's get into this story. So 84 year old Albert Baglione, at the time, he was living in Alabama. For some odd reason, he wanted to move from Alabama up to Portsmouth, Virginia. Now, usually people, when they retire or they're retired, they tend to do the opposite. They'll live here and then go down south because it's a cheaper way of living down in South Carolina, Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, etc. Anyways, he moves up here. Now, he's online on Zillow. And he sees the house on 74 Bowling Drive for sale. $160,000 was the purchase price of the house. He bought the house sight unseen, meaning he didn't even look at the house. He bought the house before he even got up here. Now, I'm showing you pictures of the house right now. And, uh, okay, so it looks okay so far, right? All right, so he uh, comes up here to take the keys to the house. He meets the realtor. The realtor's name was Soren Arn Oschlegel. And so he gets the, the keys to the house. He moves in. He's looking around in the house. And I guess he's saying to himself, like, wow, this place looks not the way it looked like in the pictures. So he calls his son and he tells his kid, hey, this house ain't what I seen online. This place is a dump. It's an absolute dump. Now, I'm showing you pictures right now. The same pictures that Baglione would have seen on Zillow before he even, you know, bought the house, before he even signed the contract. And, hey, listen, I know I live in a van. I shouldn't be throwing stones, especially when I don't even have a house or a glass house to throw the stones from. But judging from the pictures, you know, it looks like a starter house at best. Um, I believe a woman wouldn't care to buy that house. That doesn't look like a house that a woman would buy. That looks like a house that a single guy would buy. Maybe a starter house for a small family who have never bought a house before. Now, even though the sink has been updated, uh, the kitchen, bathroom, it just, it looks kind of shabby. If, just my honest opinion. It looks like a shabby house. Now, I do like the backyard. It, it sits on almost two acres and basically it's on a cul-de-sac you don't have any neighbors to your back, but you have a neighbor to your left, but there's a quite a bit of space between that neighbor and the other neighbor. And this is the cul-de-sac, as I'm showing you right now. So he calls his realtor to have him come over. The realtor comes over, and I'm going to guess, because no one was there to hear the conversation, that he let uh, Arn Oschlegel know that, hey, this wasn't the house that I, you know, looked at online. Now, this guy's 84 years old. I don't know if he's demented or what have you, but uh, he pulls out a gun and shoots and kills the realtor for no re reason whatsoever. And then, I'm assuming the neighbors here, they heard the shots, and then they called the police because this is, this is a very, very quiet neighborhood, as you can see. And so they call the police. The police come over here and they see Baglione right there. That's the house that the murders occurred. So Baglione, uh, he's at the porch and the police come over here and he's like, hey, I killed uh, the realtor. And then he shuts the door. And as soon as he shuts the door, they hear a pop. And uh, he shot himself in the head. Of course, the police didn't go barreling in. They called for backup. SWAT team comes over here, uh, comes to the house. They're all lined up in the street, and uh, when they make their way into the house, uh, they found him dead with a single gunshot wound to the head, and they seen uh, Oschlegel also dead in this area. So uh, right now, as I'm recording this video, this murder barely happened about five weeks ago, and I'm assuming right now that... Um, this is a uh, tree trimmer guy, so they're probably doing some kind of renovation.
to the property right now. Um, if you see in the backyard, now one good thing about this house was that it was in a, uh, it, did, it was a nice um, big backyard, right? Nice big backyard. I like that. Um, now, you know, you're looking at the house. It has a cool garage, you know, pretty tall garage. You can, you know, work on your cars there and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I don't know what this guy expected. Uh, my personal opinion, I don't know if this is worth $160,000, but this crazy old coot who did this, committed this crime for no reason whatsoever. I mean, how do you not know what you're looking at? Why do you even buy a house when you're not even there? Now he has this, this has like a little private area. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you know, yeah, it needs work, but I mean, you could always hire a landscaper and make this place look nice. I actually, the house I'm not a fan of, but I like the backyard thing. The backyard looks cool. I mean, you can have barbecues, you can just chill out. I like this area. And, uh, well, not this area, but uh, the backyard. I like the backyard area. And, um, yeah, just a very unusual story to say the least. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the living room would have been where he uh, killed him. Can't see in the windows because the, uh, yeah, well, you, you get the point. You get the point. Um, anyways. Um, so there's really no investigation to this crime that you could talk about because, um, it's just weird what happened. And, you know, this old man that, that, that killed this man for no reason whatsoever, you know, he could have just said, ah, sue me in court. But I, fortunately he paid him cash. That was the, that was the problem. He paid him cash and... You know, if you paid cash for a house that you ended up not liking, you know what? You could always rent it out and then resell it. It's a new roof up there. I mean, I have no idea why he did that. I mean, just, I don't know. You're 84 years old. Maybe that was his life savings. Who know why he did that? And, uh, or you know what he could have done? Because now this house is worth on Zillow 185k, so maybe he would have made twenty five thousand dollars if he just put it up on the market. It just went back to Alabama, put it back up on the market, and then you make twenty thousand dollars. There was no reason for this uh, senseless killing. By the way, this house right here, if you want to live next door to a double murder house, or not a double murder house, but you know, murder and a uh, guy killed himself at this house. Uh, this house it was already sold though. $174,000 for this house. Um, I don't know. This area seems a little bit high priced to me. But what do I know? If these houses were in uh, West Virginia, these would be like $75,000 houses. No problem all day long. Look at me. Lamont at large, realtor for hire. Who am I to say anything about anybody's house? But just uh, when I read this story, I was like, wow, I got to come down here just to see what kind of neighborhood it was. Anyways, my condolences to Mr. Oshlegel's family. All right, guys. Lamont at large. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.